Hey guys, so I want to show you how I got this gorgeous color. And what I did was just take large sections and I put bleach on um, both sides and then I kind of did it, I saturated the ends with it to kind of create a balayage ombre effect. This was my first time trying this out, so um, yeah, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> also, I could not find my dyeing brush, so I had to use a actual paintbrush, but it all worked out well. So I continue this process throughout the whole head of doing large pieces and folding it up in aluminum foil. And I let it sit on for about 30 to 45 minutes. And now you see me taking off the foils. And then um, this is what the hair looks like before I washed it. And this is what it looks like afterwards. And then in the video, I'll show you guys that I did tone it as well. All right, you guys. So I wanted to show you this hair that I got from Famous Lisa. And it's the AliExpress company. They sent me a... 16 and 18 inch and a 20 inch and a 14 inch closure and I must say that I am really impressed with the size of the bundles because I only use probably like I use two whole bundles I use the 18 and the 20 and I use maybe a really tiny bit of the 16 and as you guys see in the previous clip I was trying to do not so much of an ombre but like a balayage type thing I think I'm really falling in love with that this hair colored beautifully it looks really really beautiful and it's still very soft the hair itself this is the Brazilian body wave this one is better like the best <laughs> that I've tried um, because even though it it's, you know, that standard wave pattern that, you know, as you see on the picture on their website, when you wash it, it really does keep the wave pattern. And so for the first week um, after I made my wig, I just wore the hair in its natural state. It was really, really pretty. And I will insert some pictures here that I took. But yeah, the natural wave pattern is beautiful. And at first I did not want to color it because I knew once I put bleach on it that the wave pattern was going to go away. But I did it anyway, so. It has a very natural fullness to it. And I just like that it's not too thick. It doesn't look like I'm wearing, you know, 17 bundles in my hair. It just looks like, you know, a really natural and wearable density. So some of the products that I use to achieve this color is I use BW2 bleaching powder. I mixed 40 and 20 volume developer. Um, after that was mixed up I put in the red gold corrector so it kind of combats it becoming very like orange. <laughs> orange tones in it so after I processed it I rinsed that out and then I put one and only argan oil hair color and this is in the color 10a and it is the lightest ash blonde I was trying to tone it a little bit and I mean it toned it very slightly but I really love the soft color and I was really going for the transition to not be harsh like the the you know line straight across I'm really trying to work on that balayage technique I think it's beautiful all right so I wanted to show you guys more of this gorgeous color and I also wanted to show you the closure I just tweezed it a, a tiny bit and put some powder on it and it looks amazing so yes, as you guys can see, I'm really loving the color. I really like this hair. I've been wearing it, you know, for about a week now and it's been fine. I mean, it's no tangling. Even in the nape area, it hasn't tangled. So I'm just like, okay, I hope this keeps up. <laughs> so I will keep you guys updated on this hair. Once again, this is from Famous Lisa Hair off of AliExpress and I will leave their links down below if you're interested and if you have um, more questions just feel free to leave your comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.
Clyde, nah. more like Hov and B. Yeah. Purple Rock and Michelle, yeah. got a rep in the 